Hey everyone, this is the first of the Wells and Malott how-to videos. I'm going to be demonstrating today how to change a trailer tire. If you guys have any requests for how-to videos, go ahead and comment below. Send me a message, anything you'd like. Um, I'm wearing the women's Hydra Hide split leather work gloves, and here we go. So here's my spare tire that I have. I had to put it on because I got a nail in my good tire here. First off, you want to start off before putting this tire up off the ground. You want to go ahead and loosen up the bolts as your first step. Otherwise, you won't be able to get it when the tire can spin away from you. Okay, and then the next thing you're gonna wanna do, I'm gonna move this out of the way first, is go ahead, I just have a really nice block here, but you can also use just a piece of wood as long as it gets your tire up off the ground far enough. It helps to have a slope. And then you just set it in front of this tire here if it's your back tire. If you need to change your front tire, you set it here and back onto it. Now I got the tire up on here into the block so I can go ahead and finish taking this tire all the way off. And see, this is why you have to have them already loosened up pretty good because if you wait, you won't be able to get them without the tire spinning away from you. removing these bolts off this tire I'm using my knee here to hold it steady um, that's the easiest way for me to get it done so that way you can hold it steady and still use two hands for leverage or you can use your hand right here to hold the tire if you got them loose enough and get it done this way as well okay now that I got all the bolts off you can just pull the tire right off of there uh, move this one out of the way and then go ahead and get your tire set up so you can put this one on. Um, you want to make sure that you got this right on the outside. So on my trailer the hubcap comes out of here so you have to go ahead and put it in through the back of the tire and slide it in. Not all trailers have that, just this specific one. This is the hardest part is getting the bolts lined up into the hole on this one normally it's a lot easier if you have two people you can go both look at the same hole and the same bolt and try and match them up if you're both looking at different holes and different bolts you won't be able to get the tire on it'll be really frustrating um, doing it by yourself is pretty difficult but at least you know you're looking at the right one <laughs> Go ahead and do them crossways so you're doing them di diagonal ones away from each other. As you see, when you just put them on with your hands, you don't have to have them on all the way because you can do the rest of the hand wrench. You just want to get them on with your fingers first to make sure the threads are lined up correctly. And then you can go ahead while the tire's still up and twist them on a little bit. So that way when you move your tire back down onto the ground, it doesn't, it's not loose. <laughs> and again, go diagonally while you're tightening. Pick the bolts opposite of each other. Okay, 
And now that all the bolts are tightened up as much as you can get them without the tire spinning away from you, you'll go ahead and get back in your vehicle and back back off the block and then re-tighten them again. Now that you have the tire down on the ground, this is the last part. You just got to re-tighten up those as tight as you can get them with your hands.